Hello, Michelle, me, hi, I'm here. It's daytime, which usually means I've had an unboxing, which I did. Um, this is actually from the Wizarding one that's just been published. And then the, um, the one I've just recorded will be up there because I'm releasing it tomorrow because I've already released an unboxing today. And I like to spread them out a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is, I didn't, it's, I didn't get a card with my recent box. Which is confusing, but there you go. That's today. I'm not working again. Um, didn't get a call this morning. <clears throat> I will be calling people uh, later on in the week and tonight and just say, hey, I'm still alive. I'm available at the weekend. Whatever, you know, just to uh, say, you know, I exist. But I've had a couple of days holiday put through. So hopefully I should still have some money next week. I won't be too bad. Um, haven't heard back from the job the interview I had yesterday. I'm going to give them till six o'clock. Um, although, eh, I don't know. It was a very short interview, and I don't know if she sort of judged me quite quickly or not. But um, maybe, maybe you know, maybe she's got a lot to get through. Maybe she's got to arrange things, make sure there's trial sessions for everybody. Um, you know, how many people she wants to give trials too so we'll see <clears throat> we'll see like I said I'm, I'm gonna give until six o'clock if I don't hear anything by six o'clock I'm assume it's gonna you know I haven't heard you know it's not it's not happening and that's fair enough that is that's perfectly fine I won't hold it against anyone and I don't know what this is supposed to be sorry I, I got a I got a medal um and to find out what's you know it's in the thing and I don't know what it's supposed to represent but it's kind of funky it's very heavy <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, how are you doing? You well? You how are your job prospects? You is it just me that's sad and lonely without a proper job? Because that was one of the questions I was asked. It's like, oh, you've been with the agency for three years. Why? Why were you looking for another job? I was like, well, because some weeks you get really, really good weeks, and then it just dies, and I need something a bit more consistent. And she's like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Um, yes, I am in pajamas, by the way. Um, my giraffe, giraffe pajamas. Um, it's kind of hard to pull them all the way up without um, getting uh, banned. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's it's the ones with the uh, print. <laughs> um, I have I've still been getting over my cold, so I'm, I'm a little bit. Yeah, I, I wish I you know, if I'd gotten the call, I definitely would have gone into work. Um, however, because I'm still getting over my cold, I'm a little, little still a little bit. I felt right, kind of you know, for my interview and everything, but then I was like. Oh, doing stuff today, sorting out the laundry, and I was like, oh, actually, maybe I'm still a bit. So, who knows, but I'll talk to my supervisor and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm alive. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it, really. Um, I himself actually watched one of my vlogs from the other day. Sorry, I'm playing with Blue Tack. And said, well, I could do that. So he might get his own book. I said you could, he could borrow mine, but then he said he'd want to write down notes and stuff, and I'm like, oh, fair enough, get your own book. Um, it was just a matter of reading out the questions then, that's not a problem, but he actually wants to write, I suppose, I mean, he, he could buy a separate notebook and I could just transcribe the questions over for him, that will be, you know, if he wants to do that, I'll discuss that with him. But anyway, speaking of book and questions and stash, here it is, here is the book of questions. It's, it's all good, oh, by the way, the earrings are little round black and silver things. Again from Claire's. So there we go. That's today's earrings. Um, that was yesterday's sandwich invention. And this is today's question. If you woke up and were 10 feet tall, how do you think you'd react? I'm not kidding. That's what the question says. So that would be an extra three feet for me. Um, and again, going on the idea that this would... No, four feet. Yeah. Uh, going on the idea that this is for a younger person, smaller person, that they would be five foot or under. So for, for you know, someone who's probably the target age for this book, that would literally be doubling their height. So they go from there to there, whereas me, I'd be going from there to there. If that makes sense. So, yeah. Um... Probably be a bit cramped because my bed's just six foot. 
all all over. Um, my legs will probably hurt. Um, I'd be confused. Um, I would stand up and no doubt hit my head because I'm pretty sure this isn't a ten foot ceiling. Uh, so I'd be stooped a lot, but okay. I'd come into the living room where himself would probably be, you know, playing on his computer, doing some stuff. And like, um, so this happened. He'd be like, what? Like, I don't know. I am super tall now. Um, nothing would fit. <laughs> I mean, if we're just talking like, stretching out then presumably maybe I'd be a bit skinnier but um if it goes in proportion then I'd be like taller and like you know slightly wider but you know in proportion to my height um so if I go skinnier theoretically some of my clothes would fit looser <laughs> um but if everything goes in proportion then nothing will fit um I'll be like wrapping towels around me I I would be confused. I would be calling people, <laughs> I guess. I mean, not just um, look himself. But I'd probably be calling my parents and said, look, is it? I know it hasn't really come up before and I understand your confusion and I also understand why you wouldn't have mentioned it before because, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a new, it's a, a weird thing. But do we have any giants in the family? Like, either side? Is there anyone that's... Um, kind of secretly very very tall because uh, I just had a growth spurt yes it is unusual to have a growth spurt of 40 well uh, at least an extra three feet um four feet sorry I'm not seven foot <laughs> um I'm five seven yeah yeah I'm I don't I mean I can't really come out because nothing fits no no not, not even yeah it's all my clothes are kind of yeah, I could probably do something with the cover sheets, but again, it would be, um... Oh, that's true, who, who, who's going to arrest me when I'm that tall? Um... I would be curious to see how quickly he get across town. Um, because presumably the legs and everything would be proportional as well, so... I mean... I'd probably have to go outside just to stretch. <laughs> just to, um stretch everything out and make sure everything's okay um I mean I can't I don't know what 10 foot looks like I don't I mean trees are taller than that um the tallest person I know is just over six feet I I wouldn't know what to do with that I mean yes I could get everything off the top shelves but would I be able to get in the store in the first place um would I be like bat looking down upon you puny morsels? Would it be permanent? This is the question they're not answering. It's like asking, it's like, okay, you wake up, you're 10 foot. Do you shrink again? Or am I going to have to uh, go to... Actually, there is a, um, a science lab place near here. Somewhat famous. Um, I'm not going to name them if you if you know anything about my hometown then you'll probably guess who it is. So maybe I'd go there and say, um, knock on a window and, you know, because I'd be probably able to, you know, step over the fence and sort of walk over it. And I'm like, crouched down very small. And like, I'm not here to cause trouble. And if you want me to leave, I will. But this just happened to me. And you're a group of scientists. So maybe we can work together and, and you know, work out WTF. And then if you need to do some kind of experimenting, I mean, I'd want to be compensated. I'm, I'm, I'm volunteering my services, but you know, there, there should be some kind of compensation because nothing fits and I'm going to need to get some tailored clothing and such. Um, so, um, you know, we can, I guess we can talk <laughs> and, and see if you know anything what's happening. Um, but yeah, I, I guess my initial reaction would be cramp and confusion and, um... Oh, would I be able to get the... Because we're talking waking up, and as you know, when you wake up, you have pressing needs. Um, would I be able to... Would I be able to? Would it be... You know, would that, would everything go in proportion? That's kind of a weird thought. I'm talking about my poops. Will my poops be bigger? 
or would they be normal poops just slightly more awkward to sit on the bowl i don't know they ask me weird questions and i have to try and then jump around trying to come up with an answer for it but yes i've been playing with my blue tack and making a little cube so <clears throat> yes to answer the question in, in a short form cramped and confused um otherwise i don't know what i'd do it's weird it's a weird thing to even imagine for me that's the whole point of this is to make you think and, and use your imagination but um yeah i think that's that's as best i can answer right now because what else can i say i'm tall well than me and my head hurts a lot because i keep bumping the ceiling you can follow me here on all the Twitters if you so choose. I do still have um, Leonard, but uh, I haven't rewritten the board yet. And I found my bit of paper and it's just easier. <coughs> um, but yeah, if you've um, liked this, that would be awesome. Um, um, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, comment, what would you do if you woke up 10 feet tall? Would, would you go to a science lab or would you run around in the field somewhere? I mean... It's a weird question. Feel, feel free to share any thoughts and, and, and answers you have. Um, but otherwise, in the meantime, I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!